What's up, people? My name is Jack. Welcome back to another video here on my channel. If you're new here, I upload daily content based around video editing, videography, and how to make money making videos. Subscribe if that sounds interesting to you. But today, I gotta shut my window first real quick so that the uh, noise from the industrial state down where I work doesn't overpower the video and uh, cause you to quit. Now, this right here is gonna be how to speed up any video editing software that you're currently using via one very simple trick. Now, I only know this trick on Windows, so shout out to all my Mac users. If you're over there on the Mac, I, I actually have not used Mac enough to have figured out the equivalent of this trick on Mac, but maybe in the comment section, somebody who watches my videos has, and check the comment section. If not, check Google. I'm sure you can find something similar to this if you're on Mac, but I apologize. I really can't do anything about it. Today, I'm gonna teach you, my Windows users, how to speed up your program with literally the click of two or three buttons I think it's only two, it might be a third one, I'm not too sure. But without further ado, let's do it. On screen right now is Adobe Premiere Pro. Now I've tried to just get a bunch of really kind of high quality footage, just 4K footage, right, just to throw in here, just to try and get some lag. Now, like I have a really good computer to be real that I bought about nine months ago and uh, you know invested quite a bit of money in for the purpose of not getting preview lag and stuff like that. But you see that was a little bit right there when we're playing that drone clip of, uh, you know, of, of this castle in my area. And uh, you know all these clips are highly color corrected. They're also 4K, and I'm also trying to play it in full. And uh, even there, you know what I mean. You see, we didn't even get shitloads of lag. But I'm just trying to create a situation where we're not getting the smoothest uh, playback or the smoothest control in the in the program. And all you'd have to do to actually increase the speed, right? Which I assume for some of you it's going to be much worse than this. I assume playing 4K clips on some of your computers would be a fucking nightmare. For me, you know, I didn't always have good good equipment. In th to be honest, until about at this point, eight or nine months ago, uh, actually, no, about about 10 months ago, actually, uh, you know, I actually finally got some solid equipment after, you know, I'd had some semi-solid equipment for a little while, but uh, overall, you know, it deteriorates fast. That's the name of the game, isn't it? But all you want to do if you're actually trying to improve the speed of your editor, uh, you know, without closing every possible program, which is also something that's going to help out, right, is literally going down to the bottom down here, right, this sort of area, right-clicking, going to Task Manager, Opening up the task manager, right? And this is why I say Mac only. Uh, I mean, my bad. <laughs> God damn it, I'm trolling you. Uh, Windows only because uh, I actually don't know how you do the equivalent of this on Mac. But um, on Windows, you can go here and you can see all your apps, right? And you got process, performance, app history, startup, users, details, services. The one you want to go to is details, right? So you've got details, and details gives you a whole bunch of information about the programs, how much memory they're using, etc. But there's a very cool trick that you can do is you can actually allocate the priority that your application is. So you can actually right click the program you're using. So I'm using Premiere as an example, but you could be using anything, you know, Final Cut. Well, sorry, Mac users, I'm really trolling you there, right? That's just, the, that's the first one that came into my mind, damn it. Shotcut, HitFilm, DaVinci, VSDC, whatever you guys are using, whether it be a free editor or a, a paid editor, Sony Vegas, whatever, uh, you know, this will help. You right click, you go to set priority, and it'll be on normal. You change it to high or real time. Now, you can't really use any fucking anything else when you're doing this, I can't lie, because obviously it sets the priority to, uh, you know, high on your, on, on your video editor, but if it's allocating more priority to one program, it's got to allocate less to all the others, right? So if you're heavily using Google to get, you know, reference images or something like that, this could be a little bit tricky, but also this is a great way to speed up renders. This is actually how I originally discovered this trick back when I had my old computer, which was crashing, I kid you not, 20 times a day that literally is like if we can add up the the the, the last couple days of me having that computer 20 is is honestly a realistic number i i damn near was at the point of fucking tears one day sat on my desk i had all this freelance work to do the computer in front of me was just crashing every time i tried to render the projects and uh, the clients were hitting me like non-stop where where the videos it was a fucking messy situation but we got through it and this is actually one of the tricks to help me. I would set the priority to Sony Vegas because I was using Sony Vegas at the time. I would set the priority to real time and high when I was exporting and the videos would export way quicker, you know? And I was editing like 25 minute YouTube videos for some clients back then. So it would take a while to export anyways. So you were just trying to speed up the renders anything um, as fast as possible. But that's what I would do. I would go here and I would set it to high. Real time is something you should only do when rendering really because it'll just literally take away so much power from everything else. But high is something you can set priority while you're actually 
editing. And, um, you know, it should just set the priority to high, you know? Uh, well, I mean, obviously, it should just allocate more RAM, allocate more power to the program that you've actually designated is the, um, you know, the program that's getting the allocation of high or real time. And this can not only speed up the program, it can speed up renders. And I've tried to create just an ultra, you know, exaggerated situation here by putting loads of 4K clips that have been, you know, heavily color corrected as well or color graded uh, because in my opinion, these would have the best chance of lagging. And, you know, while setting it to high, we're dealing with essentially no lag right here at all. And, uh, you know, these are, for the third time, 4K heavily graded clips. <laughs> but that right there is more or less it. Super, super simple video. This right here has got to be one of the shortest videos on my channel. Um, but the reality is, is even though it's a short video, it's a powerful video in my opinion, because, you know, so many people deal with this. And uh, the, the, the sad part of the situation is that video editing is something that requires a lot of power. It's just, it is what it is, people. It requires a lot of power. And, um, you know, when, when you're getting into it, almost every editor doesn't have super powerful equipment when they start editing, because editing is one of the few things that you need super, super powerful equipment for. So inevitably, you know, they get into this tricky situation where they're lagging out and stuff like that. And this can deter a lot of people from continuing and actually getting to the point where they have equipment that's not lagging out, which thank God I was able to push through, persevere. <laughs> so much ups and downs with the computers is madness. It's honestly hilarious. And uh, overall, this right here is a trick that I learned a good year ago or something like that, that is super simple and has helped me and I'm sure will help you as well. Thank you guys for watching the video. I've been Jack. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, at it's Jack Cole. I upload daily content over there as well, so you're missing out if you're not connecting with me over there. If you want to talk to me, Instagram is the, the number one spot to talk to me. That's where I'm most active in terms of messaging back. And uh, overall, I really hope you enjoyed. Back to the screen, actually, real quick. I just want to fucking go through it one more time, just in case. All you have to do, right-click Task Manager, right-click your program, set priority high, or if you're, if you're rendering, set priority to real-time. And just like that, you've done it. I'm sorry, I had to jump back over there real quick because at the end of the day, nobody left behind, all right? If you were like, hold on, but maybe I have to refresh the video and fucking remember how he did that again. It's simple. I just showed it to you. I just did it. It's super goddamn simple. Crack on, improve the speed of your program. I'm happy to play a part. Thank you guys for watching. Take it easy. See you in the next video.